Well, Ravens fans, I am here with the man of the hour, Marshall Yonda. Marshall, first of all, congratulations on an incredible career. Thank you. I'm curious, what was today like? You walk into the room, and I don't know how many people were in there. It seemed like you know over 100 people, former teammates, family, staff members. That had to be a bit emotional. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, to see the uh, the love and the respect and again the, the people that showed up. You know, have the have the room full was pretty cool. You know, I um, you know had a great time here and I met a lot of great people and uh, and I'm you know I'm just grateful. You said that over the course of the season, you kind of felt like this was going to be it. You were moving in that direction. Yep. But with it, was there a day, a point where you told your family, this is it, I'm done? And what was that day like? Well, unfortunately, that day was the, the playoff. You game. knew then. Yeah. Well, I mean, we were prepared to where we had to be prepared to where we got in the playoffs. And we were like, hey, if we do lose, then dad is going to be done playing. And we actually had the whole family scheduled to come out the last game of the year. Just because we didn't know if we were going to be in the playoffs, so you might as well plan for if we weren't in the playoffs, then the last game of our regular season would have been my last game. So we were prepared for that, and then obviously we extended. We were in the playoffs, which was awesome. And uh, but you can't account for it. You can't depare, you know, think that's going to happen for sure. And then once that did uh, happen, it was uh, it was a tough way to you know to end it. But still, you look back. I was you know hurt. And, you know, it was tough to swallow for a while. But then after about a week, you just have to get over and look look back on the entire season, the entire body of work, and say, hey, we had a great year, we had a lot of fun. You set all kinds of marks over the course of your career, eight Pro Bowls, seven All-Pros. You're going to go into the Hall of Fame at, at one point. What was the moment of your career that stands out to you the most? Mm, I mean, it would have to be the Super Bowl year. I mean, obviously, you know, you, that's the entire goal your entire time as a, as a professional player is to, to win a world championship. And that's what we're all uh, striving for every single day. And that's what everybody's putting all that time and effort in. I mean, it's not exactly why you play. I, I play because I love the game, but our goal is to win. And, uh, and we got to do that that year and uh, celebrate with uh, those guys. And that, that was special. You have had so many great teammates over the course of your career. Many of them were here today. When you look out there and you see guys like Joe Flacco who comes back and is here for this day and current teammates, was that special to you? Yeah, it, it was. You know, it was because I didn't know that, you know, certain guys were going to uh, be there. It was. It was cool. You know, those guys, uh, you know, went to battle with those guys and, uh, and had a lot of highs and lows of both, you know, and that's just part of football. But, uh, you know, the respect and, um, and I, I definitely appreciated it. For you, one thing that we are not going to miss is the hassle that you gave us on game days. Mm -hmm. I think we should send you an invoice for some of the equipment that you may have damaged or broke. Over, you know, spraying uh, the microphone with water, ripping the cell phone out of my hand. I know, I know. Well, you, 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 you know as you know as well as I uh, you've seen that uh, on Sunday I'm, I'm locked in on competing, <laughs> and uh, and I'm not much for uh, promoting, you know, and uh, and getting into my line of work because I always thought, you know what. You guys got plenty of other people that want to be on camera all the time, even if they're in the bathroom. You're they the want star, to be on though. The camera. I know, but I, I, I want to get, stay in my lane, do my job, you know, or you know, maybe for the off season, but not on game day. Yeah, I was definitely uh, hyper focused and uh, focused on the, the task. What's going to be the next thing that where you turn on that intensity? Because, because like you said, you flip that switch. You talk about that in your speeches that you would yep. flip that switch every Sunday. Yeah. So what would you flip that switch for now? I mean. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure that out. Obviously, I don't think I'll ever flip that switch like that ever again. Just because you know to play football at that level and to uh, that physical demand and, and that violence of the game, you gotta you gotta you gotta go there. But uh, so I mean, I'm thankful that like I'm gonna like put that to bed, you know, because there's really nothing else like unless I want to get into something that's super physical, which I want to take care of my body now. <laughs> but uh, but I would say just working out, making sure. Uh, Keeping my body, um, taking care of my body. I will, because I understand that I really did um, to take some, put some wear and tear on my body by playing football for 23 years. So I do want to do everything I can to be proactive and taking care of my body. You know, because you know I've had knee surgery, shoulder surgery, and it's like, well, let's not be overweight. Let's not, uh, you know, eat bad. Let's let's do some cardio. Take care of my heart. Let's take care of your body. And that will be a, a big goal of mine. It already has started since uh, since I. We can tell. Yeah, we can tell you. Sure, I'm you know just losing by looking some at weight. You. Yeah. And and to finish things up, now you get to go be full time dad. You know that's that's not quite as intense as the things you're talking about. You get to enjoy that. No doubt. What has you most excited about that phase of your life? My most excitement is the the time that I'm going to be able to spend with my kids. You know I, I feel uh, very fortunate, and very grateful that uh, you know because of the game and the, because of football that I'll have you know the time to. Be around my kids as much as I want to be, you know, and, and that's something that a lot of people don't get to do, and I'm and I and I feel fortunate to be able to do that. So if I don't want to miss anything, I don't have to miss anything, you know. So some people have to, you know, 
work 12 hour days and they got to put the time in and they got to do that to support their families. And that's just the way it is. And, th and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel thankful that I'm going to have that time with my family. And, uh, and that's time, you know, older parents have told me that t your kids from, you know, when they're from they're born to, you know, 18 years old goes like that. And I, I want to be around and, and, and relish that time because that's time I'm not going to be able to, that's the time I'm not going to have in 15 years. My kids are going to be out of the house in the blink of an eye. So I want to, I want to relish that time. Well, Marshall, we wish you the best. We're going to miss having you here, but congratulations yeah. and best of luck on what's next. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Garrett.